Hi, my name is Matt Kruger. I'm a clinical neuropsychologist at the Child Mind Institute. Today we're going to hear from a parent who's looking for help understanding dyscalculia. This parent asks, My kid just got diagnosed with dyscalculia. I know it's a math learning disorder, but I don't really get what that means. She's never been good with numbers and kind of avoids them, but it got to be a bigger problem when she had to learn her times tables. She just could not understand multiplication. And she's hopeless at word problems. Can you explain what could be going on with her and what dyscalculia looks like at different ages? This parent's question captures a lot of details about math learning problems. To give like a brief explanation of what I tend to look for, I tend to look for problems with number sense or proportional thinking, problems with fluency, sort of knowing basic math facts, problems with the ability to do paper and pencil calculations, and then problems with understanding math word problems. All four of those aspects of mathematics can be seen as being areas of weakness for students who have math learning problems, but sometimes only one of them could be a problem. It still gets in the way of their ability to apply math thinking to solving problems, but it's maybe in some ways a more modest or harder to detect problem than kids who have problems in all of those areas. I'll give a few examples. Sometimes we see students who just seem to not understand at an early age that numbers have values and that there's proportions to those values. They might make a mistakes in understanding um, the, the difference in proportion between, let's say, 10 and 100 or 100 and 1,000. And they might just seem to not quite understand that numbers are sort of on a number line in a continuum. But that is a kind of weakness that we can see in, uh, later on in problems with math thinking, but it's often we might first see it in young kids. Many kids seem to struggle with just memorizing math facts, and so it takes them a lot longer to memorize their times tables. It also makes it a lot harder for them to really um, quickly solve math problems. So they're slow and ponderous in how they do all of their math problems. Even though they know two times two is four, it's like they're solving that problem from scratch each time. Some kids make problems with calculation. It might be evident in what too many people call careless mistakes. They're actually not careless mistakes. Sometimes for a kid who has math learning problems, it's a sign that they don't understand completely the, the proper procedure to use or how to solve a problem. I had a student recently who solved 74 minus 55, and the answer they gave was 4,707. It's clearly not the correct answer to the problem, but you can see some struggles with proportional thinking, and obviously they did a different calculation than what was intended to be done. We also see some problems that students with math learning have when they confront math word problems. It's like they end up coming up with answers that don't seem to fit the problem that was presented to them. They don't know exactly what proper procedures to use. So sometimes a student who has dyscalculia might look at a math word problem and they say, I just don't know how to begin. Even though they've shown some mastery of other skill sets, it's like the problem makes it much more mysterious for them. But we also see students who have problems with really understanding how to think about the idea. So maybe it's a, a problem involving measurement or measurement involving fractions and they can show weaknesses in really understanding how fractions go together or how fractions relate to each other. And that makes those kind of problems much more challenging for them. I think for parents, it's important to sort of carefully look at these problems to recognize these are not necessarily a sign of carelessness or disinterest in working on math. They might be clear indications of some problems with math thinking that can get in the way of one of those four areas. To learn more about dyscalculia, visit childmind.org.